I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Vili. Vili? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They... Expected nothing less for land under Hemingway Yarl's rule. Supplies are secure. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigvi, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Billy? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Billy's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Hemingrial looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Billy and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Billy's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Hemingrial is an ox. So he is, and he'll be pleased a skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come, the swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. Father himself. I've traveled far, spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Ready the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here. I remember when Billy and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve Heming a Yarn. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. 
Picks ashore! Protect the convoy! Oars! Back us around! The convoy is laid bare! Fire! 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 Ready, bows! Fire! 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 Picked on the rich! Got the convoy! Fire! 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 What do you think you're doing? Bows! More Here sail! The convoy remains wolf-kissed. The convoy is unscathed. Heminger Jarl will be pleased. Drop the sail. Let's put her in here. Let's go. I can't raise the sail here. Hold here. I have orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Willi and Heminger Jarl will be pleased to see you. Your son sent for me, Hemingway Yarl. One of the happier messages I've had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifor. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It's good to see you again. Uh, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls!
We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stonebur. Should any Picts escape, it will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Billy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorpe. Trigvi and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? We can snatch glory together. Unless you're too frightened to fight beside me. Oh no, this is a contest now. To the top of that tower, and the pick chief is the prize. Old times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons. Bring victory today. For tomorrow, we feast! <laughs> Chief hides behind his men huh? like a coward. No doubt he will be well fortified. But look not for him on high ground. I will have his head for him in Gayal. Yeah! 
To a month of your father's mead. You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> and they love my son all the more. But he lacks the trust of our Thanes. And I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son. He thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Billy who summoned me? Or you, Heminger? I thought you would come faster if it was Billy's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership, but his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Both men are honorable, but they do not hold a bearded axe to Hemingway Yall. Let us not burden ourselves with the all thing choice yet. your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer.
Vili. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. But if I don't faint at the sight of them... You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me how to fight empty air, Willy, and trees and snowdrift and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who's had one too many blows to the head. That tower there. It recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's, remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast, I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, Narstek. <laughs> yeah. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? <laughs> Stonebird, was Trigvi not sent there by father to help? We must go. Go. No. What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. No. 
no survivors here. Someone, there may please. be others that still draw breath. There are more people to save. We are running out of time. Go quickly, please! <laughs> Leave your things. Get to Trukvi. You'll be safe with him. Thank you. Move! Move! Get to safety! Please! My parents are trapped! Please! My family! They're in here! Save my wife, please! Leave me be! Not me! My wife! Save her for... Oh, my dear Hilda! Why? I cannot live without you! I cannot bear to go on! Forgive me. Forgive me. There's nothing you can do now. Get to safety. Ava, we need to clear a path. I will get the man, Eivor. You carry the woman! Niflheim will have to wait. You are staying here today. <coughs> oh, thank to your father! Hold on to me. I can get you out. I will tend to the injured, but there are many more in danger. Bring them in. Oh, thank you, Vili. Thank you. I draw breath because of you. I thought I might have to rescue you, Vili. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Billy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same our stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinder Doomfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor. Wait a moment. Hemingway Jarl has confided in you. 
about his health. He has. He said Vili wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Willie myself. <coughs> Go, Zulin. Right. The Kenta downfall is beautiful. Now where is he? Stretch your wings, Sunan. Found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts have worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. I mean, look at my father, a battle worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in this state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the Corpse Hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor. I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England, and you are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Vili. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! Coming a Jarl is at the edge of death. 
I must see him before he goes. to that feeling and take it with you to the hall of the slain you have become a great warrior a form a warrior and a leader worth worth song and verse i had many good teachers hemminger y'all you chief among them i beg of you now do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. Dirty-haired boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I... I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> and I am proud proud of what you will become, no matter, I, uh, I, uh, uh. Father, Willy. We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire. Nobles have begun to arrive. Trukvi needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. Huh? What? 
do you see, Sunan? Show me what lies ahead. Should a new threat to Hemthorpe emerge, who will step up to meet it? Really? I'm not sure. A worthy pyre for Heming Ayal. This journey to the halls will be heralded by roaring flames. Eivor. Drengur. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemingur Yal. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trickley. I pledged my life's oath to Heminger Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the Shire to see. You've done well, Trigve. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later. To save you from them once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He is a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have the time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of hemming a Jarl. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Hemming had desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It's a good idea. But let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety.
<laughs> Did you see that sopping sack of meat with the roosters? What an arsehole. This is an excellent shield, sir. Gunnar's craft. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good, but it needs a touch of grandeur. Something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkerthorp? He lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The arts are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. This is an excellent shield, Sonema. Gunnar's craft never disappoints. Head on to the cavern, Eivor. Ispion awaits me elsewhere. Sem hann væri jarlinn hérna. Value is solitude, living in a hole such as this. Odin's beard. You are a difficult man to find. Uh. Heminger Jarl is dead. Mm. I was told you are a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heminger Jarl. The stones. Heminger Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? is not yet 
is steady. How could it be at such a time? Heming Jarl's heart never wavered. Who are you? A friend of Heminger's? Or a man exiled by his order? It does not matter who I was. I am nameless now. I am no one. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? By his wisdom, always an inspiration. The web of Wirthen. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers... did not. My sight... and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place? That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. Heminger will be pleased with our gift. I wonder if Vili has found his spear. This is an outrage! Our strong feelings for Hemming. Festive. Too festive. And too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyre is lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? <sighs> Peace, Trukvi. I will do what I can to calm things. Uh. <laughs> Sunim, guide me. Saxon did what? <gasps> How dare he, he insult our culture? He's a dead man if I ever get my hands on him. If this is your Voda, I managed to save it from the licking flames. You dared Surtur's heat, yes! A most potent drink, distilled from grain by the roots of Kiev. Dip your horn and have a drink. Have a look, Sunin. 
A bit of drink in the belly never hurt. Hemminger's famous fighting roosters? Dragons with mighty claws! Save me from their wrath! <laughs> Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. Uh, when you sober up, steer clear of roosters. Cast about this land, my friend. I didn't see them coming. I never looked down. I never saw them coming. Show me. You are the wolf-kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Hemminger left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten, before the pyre is lit. Follow. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingoriak with ale and open arms. Do you have the gift of foresight, Seer? Can you argue what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Hemminger Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. <laughs> Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trukvi, there's no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. A 
Ascend the sleeper. Take the drink and meditate at the peak. Let the answers you seek find you. Ascend the sleeper, take the drink, and meditate at the peak. Let's see you, old friend. Ascend the sleeper. Take the drink and meditate at the peak. Let the answers you seek find you. Ascend the sleeper, take the drink, and meditate at the peak. Let the answers you seek find you. You see? Aid me, be my eyes. Ascend the sleeper, take the drink, and meditate at the peak. Let the answers you seek find you.
surveyed the area soon enough. I need your eyes, my friend. Come out, you dung eating. What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I will speak with him, unmask his true intentions. Come out, you dung-eating rat! Staying out here now! The people are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here on your own before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please. There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. Oh my god! You've got the key! Use it! Get that stain out here now! Till make your hoax! Play back! You pay for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough! Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Hemminger! I swear! I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Never inflict your Christian mysteries on a dead Norseman. But I only... These are your neighbors. Respect them. Learn their ways. And you will draw breath long into old age. Oh no! There you are, baptized as one of us. Some order seems to have been restored. Now to trick me, to let him know. Yes. I've calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heminger would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trukvi. With time. Yes, it will. And the sleeper, take the drink and meditate at the peak. Let the answers you seek find you.
This is the summit. To seek an answer, I should clear my mind and still my heart. Mingoyal, is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's Hall? I will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All-Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Heminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my faith then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. This is not how I remember you. You left me too soon, Hemingayal. Your shire's fate is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. Is blunted by indecision. 
only worry is now. Never waver. You pushed me, Heminger. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, Eifor. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? Did you consult the Volva? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others, I must answer myself. Do you think there's a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trikvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trikvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl, old as I am? This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The frames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Trick me. Each man wears one of Hemingas' boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire for your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Snottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man the people can trust. Most love Billy, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn, but does he wish to? And trick me. Sturdy and wise and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor, put a stop to this fool's death wish. Trigvi has no Jarl to serve, Vili. He's free to set his own course to the ocean's edge, to trade this world for the next. As are you, Vili. 
Our lives belong to us. Thank you. Thank you, Eivor. Billy, do not misplace your anger on friends who speak what they believe is truth. <sighs> do as you must, Trivi. I... I will miss you, old friend. And I you, my boy. I must prepare myself for the flames, body and spirit. Eivor! Mm. Suniva! Pigs were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase. Ah, stick! He should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with pigs. I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show you. His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our stick was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drenkur. He always had me to watch his back, as children and again now. If this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kiss as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Suniva. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of the Raven clan. We know, Trengur. That is why we are sworn to you. Here, Eivor. This was where Ville saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to Hemthorpe and make sure our Raven... I will head Go. back to Hemthorpe. Zulin, I should be cautious around here. right now. Stop, Billy. They are gone. It is done. Bah! I've seen roosters fight with more spirit. Oddly enough, so have I. That sound. Is it thunder? Footsteps. We need to fall back. Follow me. Quickly! Huh? Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Thrilling. Was it not? Just like when we were children getting into trouble and getting away. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, our stick. <laughs> Moment to catch my breath. Ah, my sword's thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavenga? I do. Kjetve the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools, foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> And the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. And then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <sighs> I did wonder, but I sm- Well, you that I will- But I- Do you think slip- Hey, you- Of course. And that will- <laughs> You'll Do you ever want- I have. Billy no gets Are you uh, I... Billy gone already to prepare for the funeral, I imagine. So many Norse. This will be the send-off Hemminger deserves. All the funeral preparations are in order. Be patient, Hemminger Yaw. We are about to send you on your final journey. Brothers, sisters, we meet again. Eivor, my father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts. All but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. shield bearing the sign of the web of weird woven into this shield as you wove your spirit into our lives may the skulls sing of you as the gods embrace you feast my friend in the halls of the free and brave stand at my side Speak from your heart, Eminger son. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. 
Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit. In you I see his life and his love of drink. Gods, did he love drink! <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. We shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. You have made this old man proud, each of you. And you, us. Nine days, one eye hung from the tree. Nine worlds he saw. Nine runes he found. Nine nights he bled. Further, receive your loyal servant. Give him a fine farewell. Sunima, ride to Hemthorpe and prepare the longhouse for the old thing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. Eivor, we meet again. Mm-hmm. Have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drink so well and so deeply as Clan Hemingerson. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The All Thing will begin shortly.
Eivor! You look... uneasy. I'm not so drunk I cannot stand, but... Hang on to me a moment. You do your father proud by this celebration, and by taking his seat. He wanted this, Willy. I mourn for myself, Eivor. For us. You know my heart. It beats for the passion of battle heat. Not... Not this. As did your father's heart when he was our age. But he grew up, and so shall we. Now go on, man. Show them you are a Hemingerson. People of Hemthorpe, or Ulkesorpe, of Nottinghamshire. We honor neither Trigvi nor my father by continuing to mourn. These men dedicated their lives to bettering all of Nottingham. They died in that service. Now, I humbly pledge my life to following in their path. And I ask each of you to rise. Be to me what Trigvi was to my father. Together, we shall build the world they wish to build. You have already learned that people prefer shorter speeches to long ones, Vili Jarl. <laughs> it will take time to wear that title with comfort. My father never swore a formal oath with your clan. There is no need, for you are family. Let it be known, the Hemingers and Clan Raven are true sworn friends from this day forward. Do you accept? I. Well? Be fair. I'm sure I... Man, we want to know about this. It is time I return to the settlement. <laughs>